y'all welcome to vlogtober day 18. so real quick i wanted to come to y'all with some scary movies to watch in october for halloween i got a list some of them are series as well they're a little, they're a little bit of throwbacks if y'all see y'all i finished so we went with the faux slash butterfly locks look then i all had them this length and i felt like they was too long i wanted them more like a bob type feel like just right on the shoulders i really should have had them like above the shoulder i'm doing one of my little wraps y'all uh for my little you know my little x in my hand um so i've been shortening them up i ain't want them real real short because when they loosen up i want to be able to put them in like a little ponytail i know i'm looking at myself over here i want to be able to put them in like a little ponytail so that's this so let's get to the list so in no particular order that these are all movies that i watched that i feel like would be nice good movies to watch for halloween um so starting off with uh ready or not i really i really liked ready or not i've seen ready or not a couple of times i really like ready or not um i feel like that's a good movie to watch with the family um it's not like um i don't remember it being like having no like sexual type stuff in it i don't remember that so i do think that it would be a good movie to um to watch with your family i'm, I'm still doing my hair y'all so y'all gonna just be watching this the next one is choose or die mm -hmm. now that is alexis shut up and stop because i ain't even talking to you um the next the next movie is choose or alexis stop it's the talking back for me the next one is um choose or die i got my hair here y'all I saw this movie today. Now, this apparently, I just realized, is a new movie. A new... Yeah, it's a, it's a movie that's on it's a movie that's on Netflix. And it's new. And I like it. I really did like it. I like Choose or Die. Um, the next one is The Ritual. Now, I saw The Ritual a little while back. But I actually did like The Ritual. I, I'm looking at these movies. And all of these movies that I picked and the series... I really don't remember them really being like having really like no sexual con why are you getting dark we in the fucking house um really having no type of sexual content in them so i feel like um it would be good to watch with the family you know i, I know it's awkward when you watching sex scenes with your family so i feel like all of these movies would be good because it's not no sex scene. and if it is they're really minimal because i legit don't remember them being in the movie i got my mirror right here that's what i'm looking at y'all because y'all came for the y'all came for the list you you ain't gotta you ain't gotta look at me um but but look at me though the next one is the wretched now i saw the wretched a little while back it's like a teen type scary movie um it wasn't super scary in my opinion and so i feel like that would be like a good movie to watch with um with like younger kids because it really wasn't it was scary but it wasn't like overly scary it it, it had a little bit of va va to it they had a little razzle dazzle on it so i think this would be good good for like younger kids maybe like kid like nine and up or something depending on their maturity level y'all gonna have to gauge that because these are my kids these y'all kids the next one is his house now i saw his house a while ago a lot of these movies are not new a lot of these movies are not new movies these are movies that i um these are movies that I recently saw or that I saw like in the past, but I feel like they would be good Halloween movies because everybody ain't, everybody ain't saying a Halloween movie just because it's old don't mean nobody didn't, everybody saw it. So his house was good. Um, his house gave me more like that. It was a, it's horror, but it's, it's, it's psychological, uh, as well. And y'all know me. I love my psychological, uh, I love psychological horror movies. Like movies that make you think and scare you at the same time. I be liking it. So his house, I did. I did enjoy his house. Um, the next one, I put old people on this list because I watch YouTube videos. And apparently, 
a lot of people i'm just looking at this part and guess what it's gonna stay like that uh apparently a lot of people thought old people was like very scary i mean it was gruesome but i ain't like the storyline and that's that's the reason why i had an issue with it because i ain't like the storyline that was my that was my biggest issue with old people but i put it on the list because People was like, when I was watching other YouTube videos, they was like, and old people, OMG, it was so scary. I'm like, it, it, it had its moments, but because the plot was weird to me, I just, I, I couldn't get into it. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't scary. Like I felt like it could have been. I actually don't like this thick like that. The next one we have is Death of Me. Now I watched this movie a little bit ago and it was a it was a pretty good movie if i remember well it was more of a psychological thriller as well it had its um like gruesome parts i guess you could say in it that i remember but for me i, I just remember it being like psychologically fucked up so that's death of me i put men on the list because it was it was creepy and for if a halloween you know cre creepy is a thing creepy is a thing so i put men on the list because it was a creepy fucking movie it was creepy to me and so i feel like other people will feel like it's creepy as well so i just got these to go y'all not much um what else we got now i put two series on here in case you one of them this thick in case you you got in case you in the family that like y'all really be having like movie night and stuff we do that uh here so i know other families do it because we do it and i know we're not the only ones that do it so midnight mass it is it's it's not recent but for me it's not too old let me see when midnight mass came out Midnight Mass came out. Come on, don't play it. Mute it. In 2021. But I don't know exactly what month in 2021 it came out. Because I'm just on, on uh, YouTube with it. But I liked Midnight Mass. I did. Midnight Mass was psychological and it had... um a bit of a bit of gore it, it it has some tormented parts to it i liked midnight mass it it is a limited series and it has they only have one season of it and it has seven episodes and each episode is like 60 minutes it, it goes from 60 to the longest one is 70 minutes but it was good it was good it's gonna keep you it kept me intrigued and the the minutes went by super fast so i do recommend um midnight mass i liked it i really did i watch a lot of these scary movies that the average person be watching like insidious and shit like that i don't really like movies like that so i never watch it i watched one of them but i don't remember which one so i added to the list and then the last one that we got is an oldie but a goodie and that's the haunting of hill house a lot of people didn't like that a lot of people felt like it was not it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do but it did it for me it was a psychological thriller and i think the reason why i like psychological thrillers is because it doesn't have to be gory it makes you it for me it, it's more realistic it's like damn what if this was really happening in real life it's like i i don't get scared by watching a mass murderer in a mass chase a motherfucker in a corn maze but sitting around watching a, a movie about people who are dealing with a haunting and it's a lot of people in real life who deal with like spirits and hauntings and stuff like that i feel like because it, it makes it more realistic and it makes it more like this is some shit that could actually happen that's what makes it more intriguing for me I'm a oh I can't wait for these braids to relax the motherfucking head hurt so I can really put it in the style because I don't like it. I don't I don't like it yet, y'all. I don't. God.